Hi guys, my name is Kiran and this is my first tutorial on YouTube so please cope with me guys. So today I'm going to show how to use opacity map in 3ds Max. Hope you enjoy it. So let's start guys. Uh, I'm just going to show you a simple tutorial right now. So just I just import a plane over the screen and this opacity map is really useful when you when we need not need too many poly counts normally in the games normally in games they use this opacity map in several so so the, so to the plane what we imported in the viewport we just add the diffuse map before that I will show you how a uh, what type of maps we use in applying this so this is these are the two maps this is a normal diffuse map which normally has white backgrounds that we sh that we should cut off when we apply and this is the opacity map with the white white background in the diffuse gets black in the opacity map and the other part gets white over here so let's import the diffuse map to this plane I'm just going to apply that so you can see that I have applied the diffuse map Okay, so next uh, part is to apply the opacity map. So in the material editor, you can see the maps down here. Click that, and you can see several options over here. In that, click the opacity, and just click on the none part over here. It will just go to the another browser and click the bitmap over here just just apply the opacity map that we created earlier okay and just, just apply it you can see that the opacity maps comes on the viewport so let's see what we get how, how when we run from look it just saves more time when well, it's very it's really useful when we in the games or animations animation short films we make if the if the trees are coming very apart from the camera very far from the camera then we can use these trees or plants or any other things like that buildings or mountains we can use that one it reduces more more poly counts as well as saves more time so if sorry if we take some copy over here like this You can see that it almost acts like a tree. Alright. So this is the first tutorial that I made on YouTube. So hope you guys enjoy it.